Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're doing a little BIOS video on the Machinist B450M motherboard. This is a highly requested video from my first one, which was the rundown of the motherboard. I finally got it installed and I'm just running through the BIOS here. I wanted to show you guys all the features, what's there, what's not. Um, and like I was saying, it is a pretty full featured BIOS actually. So, you know, we're here in the main page. You can you know, use your mouse. But uh, as you can see, there's the BIOS information, American Megatrends, which is usually the manufacturer and the vendor of a lot of these motherboards, of these Chinese ones. It's weird. I don't know what that means. Uh, you have the BIOS version, you have the date and time, and I have administrator access, of course. We got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 installed. Uh, I have ran it in XMP, yes. You can do XMP in your memory configuration. Uh, we're gonna go over the pages really quick before I go over that advanced tab. This is kind of where all the juicy stuff is, what everybody wants to see. So we got the main, of course, I just showed you everything here. Go to chipset. Uh, you can check out all your stuff uh, for your chipset, your configurations, and I don't know much about this. This is just to look at certain information. But yeah, to, you know, to each its own. You have your boot as well. This is pretty normal for every motherboard that you can do your boot to change your priorities from either like your hard drive, your SSD, or if you have two different boots, you can sort them and boot from whichever one you want to each time. Yes, the NVMe drive does work for this motherboard. I have a Samsung Evo, uh, 500 gigabyte. It booted just perfectly. I didn't do a fresh install. I just brought my drives from my old computer. It all works fine. Everything's here. There's the boot options, uh, fixed order priority, some extra little stuff right here if you wanna tweak with it a little bit more, but uh, you most likely are not gonna be doing that unless you're setting just your boot device. Security, your administrator password, like you can set your password so every time you start your computer that you have a password to go on. Save and exit, of course, restore your defaults, your overrides, that's my Samsung right there, the 970 Evo, and then I have a Western Digital hard drive. But, heading to the advanced tab. I'm gonna go over most of these, if not all of them. I will just skip over a couple, but this is so you guys can view this menu if you're not able to view it. I know nobody else is dropping videos on these motherboards, at least not that I know of. So, first of all, we have trusted computing and we have the TPM configuration. That is for Windows 11. I can't speak much about what it is, but it you just enable it and it allows you to update to Windows 11 and install that in the first place. There's your ACPI configuration, hibernation mode. I always enable it on all my things because they these motherboards don't have sleep mode. Just letting you guys know. So if you buy this motherboard, you won't be able to put your computer to sleep. The great alternative is hibernation mode, which is just a deeper sleep, if you were to put it in you know simpler terms. Here's all your SATA, USB, PCI configurations, all your chipset stuff. You got your super IO configuration, hardware monitors, you can look at all your CPU and your fans and your temperatures and over here. Uh, but this is obviously just in the BIOS, so you, you can put out the programs to see it in real time on Windows. Here's your RAM, your DDR4, 16 gigabytes. As you can see, we put it to XMP Profile 1. All I had to do was just hit XMP and it automatically put it to 3200 megahertz. It was running at 2400 and then you get a little significant performance boost if you put the XMP on. I wouldn't say a performance boost, but you're kind of losing out on performance if you don't have it on. There's also uh, tweaking to as far as like the timings and everything else, you could do other stuff. Wake up settings, it's not really important. Power management, this is about power loss things or failure when something happens. CPU configuration, this is not your overclocking software or your, your menu at all. SATA, obviously your configuration for SATA devices. I only have one drive in here, so there's really nothing to configure. PCIe or PCI, sorry, 
Here's your resizable bar support. That's the most important of uh, this menu that most people would want to see. I can't remember what exactly this does, but it's like smart access memory. The same thing. They are the same thing. It's just another name for it. Um, I will disable, I mean, I will enable this, but other than that, you should be fine without it. It's not a setting you need to be running. PCI Express settings, blah, blah, blah. Um, all this stuff here. You guys want to look at that? Any uh, PC tweakers or monitors want to look at this? Go back one more menu. USB configuration it tells me everything that's on here. Network. Don't really know what that is. Network stack. Can't speak for that. CSM configuration. Uh, this is for. I don't remember what this is for, but I'm just showing these menus so y'all can look at them and so you don't have to buy the motherboard and look at them. NVMe configuration, just to show you guys, like I said earlier, it is working. I have my Samsung in there. Everything is solid. This is a pretty good thorough um, BIOS menu and setup. And then getting to the overclocking, you can overclock, yay. Um, it's a little weird, it's not that bad. But the simplest option to just avoid all this little hassle, all these things here, you can just do manual CPU overclocking. Follow the tutorials on exactly which voltage to get and your frequency. Um, follow your CPU and follow the YouTube videos that you search up. I'm not teaching any overclocking to anybody whatsoever. And there's frequency timings, precision boost. There is a eco mode. Yeah, I skipped over that. Well, that's about it. You can do your onboard voltage controls. Uh, yeah, you can change the values of a lot of things here. Notes per socket, voltage control. Now remember guys, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a dislike if you didn't, comment if you have this motherboard, and let me know what kind of CPU you're running, or if you're debating getting this motherboard. Have a good day wherever you are, have a good night, good evening, and goodbye.